What is up, guys? We are back with another couple episodes of Going For It. Uh, you will see your first appearance of Mike Spillane in uh, this round of uh, some Going For It podcast. Uh, you'll also see a couple new segments I did with Craig. Uh, we called it Carry On Craig, where Craig kind of just gets on a soapbox and talks about whatever he wants, which is basically just the podcast, but uh, a little more a little more focused from Craig for a couple minutes. And In the Pocket, which is a breakdown of the QBs in that division that we talk about in the offseason, just kind of how we feel about them, rank them, a lot of top fives, all that good stuff. So we have even a little bit of draft talk. So that is what we got going on in going for it. At this time, uh, you guys can hope to see some more content more regularly from us. As you can see, I got my setup finally ready to go. I'm repping my New York Giants. All of this stuff was recorded pre-free agency and pr like right after the J.J. Watt signing. So we don't have anything super duper up to date, but I wanted to release it anyway so you guys could get our takes and see how we're feeling. Uh, that will be coming to a screen near you right now. Uh, I think this is one of our final QB-ish, uh, or I guess I'll say QB-specific topics. Alex Smith, which I think they need to rename the Comeback Player of the Year Award to the Alex Smith Comeback Player of the Year Award because that dude that. almost died. Yes. And took meaningful NFL snaps this season. Yes. So I'm all aboard the change the name of the trophy train and give this guy a place in, in NFL, you know, annals of history because he deserves it. Like, overcame so many things. I think he got did a little dirty, though, by the Washington football team. And I wanted to get your opinions and thoughts on this as yeah. a step down from what Big Ben is currently. <laughs> right. And I'm surprised, I again, not surprised from ownership. He's a piece of crap. And has openly, everyone knows it. I think he knows it kind of thing. He knows. Commonly known as one of the worst owners in, in NFL. Almost dipping into worst owners in sports kind of thing going on there. Uh, you know, he's got the Knicks had that issue and some Clippers. They The Clippers cleaned it up, right? Oh, so there's, yeah. a, there's a few of these people um, that are still around that need to get kind of phased out. They were part of the old not the full old guard, but the mid guard of like money that came in in the in the in the 90s, like that right. 90s money. And some of them really need to go. Right. And they just aren't <laughs> right. For, well, they're, they're just not not right for this c climate of the players understanding who they are and, and having the amount of money they have. These old school owners mentality, they don't get it. And that's part of the reason that Alex Smith was disrespected. What shocks me is I would have thought. Rivera might have, but he's only been there a year. Maybe that's the reason True. he always came across as like a player guy. And this move didn't feel like that. It felt like the way Alex was talking to GQ and talking to some other reporters, like he just didn't feel like Washington ever even wanted him back. And that's, that's shitty. I know it came out that the, the way it's being phrased right now is he asked for release. Who knows? Right. And maybe that's the best thing for Alex anyway, to, to yeah. get away from that. But it didn't seem like they took the, the – and I would not – I'm not surprised because I think they're run so poorly. Boy, is there a way to take uh, that moment and look really good. You you put your social media team and your press team on the comeback story of the guy. You you line that up. You you find the ways. You be the, the sleep number bed and Dak. You be Chunky Soup and Saquon. You be that. Now, I'm not saying the teams are doing always the right thing, but I could just tell you Campbell's did the right thing and Sleep Number did the right thing. Support their guys. Washington had a big opportunity to do that and then would have come out smelling so good because even though they didn't they, – they accidentally won the division. Even though they didn't Correct. win anything big, they would have come across as a player-friendly place, which is the problem we're seeing in the league now with Houston and, and Washington and a few other teams where who the hell is going to want to go play there for just your guys that want money? That's it. And guess yep. what you don't win when you only have guys that want money? Anything. No titles. No titles. Everything points to guys coming for the winning and coming for the culture. Tampa Bay last year. Tampa Bay years before that. Both Tampa right. Bay titles, I think, are culture-related. Um, this is so indicative of how leadership matters in team sports. At the And I don't just mean your quarterback. I mean, really, it goes up from there. And they... Uh, good for Alex that he's away from that. 
I hope he gets opportunities or whatever. I think I said earlier, I think he could be in a really amazing clipboard guy in a way that really grooms him for coaching. But that's if he wants that. That's if he wants that. He's a former number one pick. He can run the emotional spectrum with a quarterback. He can make the throws or made the throws. I'm saying like he I, I would love to see him into the next like look at Byron Lefwich, right? Yeah. Isn't that a great example of how a guy that had some skills, right? Didn't get it done and is now a Super Bowl winning offensive coordinator. I'd love that for Alex. I don't know if he wants that. I don't know the guy, right? But boy, the tools are there up here. And you oh, know yeah. that. So I guess my my ending thing is fuck the Washington football team. I'm just straight yeah. up. Just, just, I mean, they're, fuck them. They, them and Houston are just so easy to hate right now. Not Yeah, it's... it's I, I feel for their fans, honestly. I feel for the – because I know both of those franchises have good fans, right? They have fans that are behind them, and they're in really cool cities, right? I've been to D.C. I've been to, uh, I haven't been to Houston? Maybe – no, I have been to Houston. I've eaten in Houston. Like, these are good places that are stuck with what appears to be shitty leadership. Yeah, I mean, there's not much more that needs to be said about that. I, I think you hit all the notes. I didn't mean um, to soapbox that. I did. That. No, I didn't but that's – it's completely understandable. Like it's just one of those things where in this, in the league and in the climate of the world right now, you're only going to go as far as you're willing to uh, push yourself. Right. And as, as much as you're willing to push your boundaries and what your thoughts and beliefs are. And the world is, is coming into a place to take it even out of football is, is going in a direction of like, are you willing to have this conversation? If you're not even willing to have the discussion, which is what Washington did with Alex Smith, they said, nope, we don't want you on the field. And then he said, well, you don't have anyone else. And then they said, well, then I guess we have to put you on the field. That's a bad look because right. you knew in that moment if Dwayne Haskins gets another run-in with COVID and another run-in in a strip club because he's done it two other times this season, what are the odds he's going to do it a third time? It was 100%. Uh, <laughs> what did. are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds another quarterback's going to get hurt because you don't have a good offensive line? It was a hundred percent. Yeah, Kyle so, Allen got hurt in instantly. Immediately, it happened so fast. So didn't they also then, bring out? I think they brought out Colt McCoy. They brought they brought out people. people well, no, just Colt up. McCoy is a New York Giant, uh, and he did get meaningful snaps this year. And I am upset about that. Alex Smith, please come to the Giants if you're going to be a backup. Um, I love that. I would love, I would love him to, to mentor Daniel Jones. I think that would be amazing. But So you agree with that, that I think the value of this guy, if he still wants to be suited up, right. is, is that mentor move. But if, that's, if he's too competitive for that, I don't see a team that – Minnesota. Interesting. Oh, interesting. That's Dalvin Cook's team. So, yeah, interesting. Dalvin Cook, Adam Thielen, he could do dink and dunk passes all day on that team, and they could do well. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, you, you know, because I'm, look, I'm looking at the team list, and I was like, nope, <clears> nope, <throat> nope, nope, nope. And then you brought the one that I could be like, shit, one of the best running backs in the league. If Derrick Henry didn't exist, he'd be the best in, in the league. True. Oh, wow. You're right. But does that come and together? And Kirk Cousins, Cousins is all, I think he's in a contract year. Or he may not be in a contract year. I think his contract is up or something like that. He's either in the last year of a very voidable deal or something. Kirk Cousins is the epitome of seven to nine wins every single season. Correct. And low level excitement. Going to get you that mediocre performance. Going to have some big hits and then just disappoint the shit out of you. I love I'll it. Let's Alex Smith for the Vikings. Let's go. I love it. I, I don't know how someone has Kyle Rudolph in his prime, Stefan Diggs in his prime, Adam Thielen in his prime, and does not win a playoff game. Yep. Other than yep. the what the miracle in, in New Orleans or mir yeah, miracle in New Orleans. I don't remember it. Miracle in Minnesota. No, that was for the Saints. So actually, correct. Kirk Cousins did not win them a playoff I, game in I Minnesota don't think he's won. and was paid a dumb amount of money. Twenty five a year. Guaranteed before at, that even but was But at the trend. time, that was yes. like... At the time, that was big, big. This is a, year, a couple years before the uh, the Goff Wentz nonsense. So much nonsense. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, Alex Smith, go Vikings. I Here's the thing. I think this show is, is a quarterback show. We're just very into quarterbacks. I love it. I love it. I love talking quarterbacks.